All right, good evening. This is Dark Q. As you can see, there's a giant mess on my desk right now of markers. That is because I was trying to do something I thought of at work yesterday. So on my little break, I was on my Instagram and I happened to see an artist here that I follow on YouTube um, that has to have Instagram, obviously. <laughs> she was mentioning that she was posting a video, but I guess the work she was doing wasn't done. So she was asking for ideas. And I just happened to see that somebody in the comment section said, what about the one marker challenge? And I was thinking, oh, that'd be a fun idea, the one marker challenge, right? Obviously, I got a lot of markers right here. But then I was like, as I was at work, I was painting, I started thinking to myself, what about the three marker challenge? And then I remembered I had all these kind of markers, these artist markers, <laughs> Bic, Mio Pico, a few Copics. And I was thinking to myself, what if I mixed all those up? Randomly took the three colors and did artwork with it. I was like, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what the what marker challenge, three marker challenges, right? So that's going to be part of it. But along with that, what I was thinking was also, why not just blindly pick the markers? And I also just also blindly pick the, I guess, multi-liners, is what you call them, or the inky pens, because I have a lot of colors of those too. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to pick from these markers three random colors and it could be any of these type of markers. I'm not going to know what they are. I'm going to be blindfolded. And then after I pick the markers, I'm going to do the same thing with my multi-liners. So for starters, <laughs> I need to take off my glasses. And then I'm going to put this on so I can go ahead and randomly select first color. I could tell this is one of those artist tips, the black ones. Obviously I don't know what color it is, but I can tell from the fill what kind of marker it is. So marker number one. Oops. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, I'm putting them in here. Which is oh yogurt container. Hopefully I have that in camera because I can't see what I'm doing, but nice marker. So let's pick again. Second marker. Again, I'm pretty sure it's one of those dual tips. Oh, dang it. Okay. I lied. That's not the big marker. I just dropped it. Second marker. I'm going to go with this one. I think this is a Neo Pico marker. Or what I know it is. No idea what color it is, but it's going to go on the back. And now the third marker. This is another one of those artists. Dual tip markers, I can tell again by the feel. These triangulars, pipe block. Third marker. So I got my three markers picked out. I'm going to take off my blindfold, put my glasses back on, and see what colors we got. Okay. So I got my glasses back on, got my markers picked out. So now we're going to see what exactly I picked. Or whether you guys probably already seen it, but I don't know so. Here we go. So this is the first marker. This is tender pink. Let me see if I can get that in the camera. So tender pink. That is the first. I don't know. I think that was, was the first color grabbing on here. Could have been the last, but the first one. And then the next one is. Canar Canaria Yellow. And then, last but not least, like I thought, it's a Neo Pico marker and it's a fleshy color. So, honestly, <laughs> I picked colors that I don't really like because I don't like yellow and I don't like pink. But I guess that's why it's called the one mark, the three marker challenge. You just randomly pick. Uh, so, there are the three markers. So I'm going to clean up this mess, and I'm going to come back, and we're going to pick the color multi-liners to ink this. Alright, so I'm back again. This time I have my multi-liners. Again, it's going to be the same process as before. I'm going to randomly pick from all these. And then again, it's a mix. It's Copic multi-liners, mostly, as well as some... Um, Artist Loft multi-liners and um, 
Pigma brush. So there's brush tips in here. They're different sizes and that's not supposed to be in here. That doesn't count. Um, but anyway, the rest of these, yeah, they're brush pens. They're just regular liners. They're all mixed in here. All different colors. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to take off my glasses. I'm going to blindfold myself. And I'm going to randomly pick a color. First color. Pretty sure there's a Copic one. We'll see though. Oh, where my? <laughs> Sorry, I was like, where did my bucket go? Oh, I set it right here. It's aside for now. Hope I roll off my desk. All right. Here we go. Again, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna set it to the side. But second color. So I'm going to unblindfold myself now, and we're going to see what we got. Or, you probably already know what I got, but I don't. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, okay. Seeing as I have a yellow, pink, and peach color, this is what I got with. I got a two, it's like two brown multi-liners. One is a point, let me see. Point one. A point three, and then I got a pink one. So um, we're gonna see what I'm gonna create with these, but that's what we got. So I got my three markers and three multi-liners that I'm gonna be using. As far as I'm gonna be drawing with. Obviously, it's going to be just a regular mechanical pencil and main eraser. So these are already picked out, obviously. I'm not going to buy any of pick pencils, but maybe another time I'll do like random color pencils. That might be fun. Um, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and use this sketchbook I bought a few months ago. I haven't drawn anything in it yet, but it's just a, ooh, sorry. Just a regular sketchbook, but this is what I'm going to be using. So again, I'm going to clean up this area. Uh, and then I'm going to start just drawing whatever <laughs> and hopefully come up with something uh, worthwhile for this. Alright, so I'm back. Got my sketchbook, got my pencil, and we're going to begin drawing. And of course, whatever I draw, I'm going to use my those multi liners that I picked out as well as three markers. So <laughs> let's hope this turns out well.
right, so this is kind of where I'm going to talk over. I kind of put audio over this part because I did I did have a voiceover done originally, but as you can hear with the audio a little bit, I was having some major issues. I don't know what's going on, but my voice was like echoing and things like that. So I decided just to throw music over it, and hopefully that's not too bad. So I do apologize about that, but um, overall, this is pretty much toward the end of the video. Um, like I said, it's just it's just me finishing up coloring. This was interesting to do um, for me because uh, I guess I mentioned before, and I said there's many other voiceovers, but obviously you don't know about those. But um, I just have not been feeling very creative lately, or very much feeling like drawing or anything. I feel like I'm in some sort of slump, but this was fun to do because I didn't I had it image in my mind, but I didn't have it like planned out like knowing what colors and what tool I was going to use. It was just random. So I think that was fun for me to do. And I won't say it's my best work because it's definitely not. But overall I think it came out too bad. And I think it kind of did for me what I was hoping it would do a little bit, which was kinda help me be a little more creative and maybe find joy in just drawing again, I guess. Um, but y'all mean, I definitely have fun doing this. I just listen to my music, getting lost like I always do. So I would definitely do it again. Um, actually, I do do it again. I have another video of a three marker challenge that I'll be posting. Uh, I might do it today or tomorrow since I'll be gone here for a little bit. Because this was actually supposed to have gone up a week ago, but like I said, audio issues as you're trying to upload it it was one giant headache so i do hope that somebody has enjoyed this because i tell you when i say it was a headache it was a headache because i don't know what was going on um but anyways the video is about to end i see myself signing this um so like i always say hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day um if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if not, thumbs down is fine. Either way, I've won. Have a great day.